Welcome to Cloud9 Ranch. Today we have guest Fiona, as well as Georgia on Rocky, and my son Andrew on Prince. And so I'm Tara Reimer, and today we're gonna give you some challenges. Now one challenge when working with horses is for them to get over any fears that they may have. Now, every horse's number one priority in life is to stay alive, which means they always wanna be safe or comfortable. And so they are always looking for things that might eat them or hurt them, and we never know what that's gonna be. So we wanna be watching the horse's ears to see how they respond to something. So Fiona here is going to come towards Rocky, and Rocky is showing us that he's not quite sure about this Fiona. So he's got his ears forward. And so at this point, because he's showing us that his muscles tensed up and he's really curious, so he has two eyes on the horse, See, when a horse turns and puts two eyes on, then they can see in 3D like you and I can. We'll talk more about that another time. But, so this horse is showing concern towards this Fiona girl here. And so some people would like to just bring the Fiona, in this case, to the horse and say, just nice and easy, nice and easy. And we can do that. But the thing is, we want the horse to come to Fiona in this case. We don't want to get into his space and scare him. So he's showing that he's curious, which is fabulous. That's exactly what we want. Now, if that's not what he wants to do and he's not willing to come forward and become curious, so just so you know, if they're curious, they can't be afraid. It's one or the other. So that's great that he's not scared. But what we would do is, if he was still scared, is I would take Fiona, so somebody on the ground, and I would walk with Fiona and then let him follow. So we're gonna do that in a moment. We're gonna check here with Prince and see what Prince thinks of Fiona. So I'm gonna move Fiona around. So Prince is not turning his head towards Fiona and he only has one eye on her. So when there's only one eye on the object, it's 1D, one dimensional. And so he does not see it fully, but, and that's okay. We're giving him the option to turn his head and he's not taking it because he's like, I've lived here long enough to know a lot of crazy things happen at Cloud9 Ranch and nothing's gonna eat me. And so he's just trusting us and the situation and so he's not worried. So that's how you can tell the difference. And he's actually almost looking bored at, of us already and starting to close his eyes in a blinking fashion. So that tells you the difference. Now, Rocky, on the other hand, as soon as I come towards him, his ears perk up again and he's like, okay, well, this thing, that's losing beads <laughs> is, is in my space again. So with him, we're gonna use this technique, which I think is the best. We don't wanna make all the pressure on Rocky to like Fiona. That's not what it's about. We want Rocky to realize that Fiona is not really that scary, even if she is jumping up and down and losing her stuffing right there. She's losing it, but that's okay. So George is gonna get him to follow me. So go ahead, Georgia. And we want him to realize that Fiona is not gonna bother him. And that he actually can determine his safe space. So he's now following me. And so I'm gonna grab Fiona by the arm, move her around a bit more. And you can see he's definitely cautious and that's okay but we're gonna ask him to follow. And once he searches following on his own and he realized no big deal, then we're good. And we know that he's at least tolerating it. So there's different levels and he's coming a lot closer to me now and he really wants to get to know Fiona and that's okay. So we let him. We still wanna be cautious because sometimes they get curious, but then they realize it's too much and they're really not okay with it. So. He's got his nose on it. Sometimes they'll bite it. If I put her on the ground, he might paw on her. So we're gonna leave it at that. Just show you that this is a great method to give the horse their own time and space to get comfortable with something. And I look at it as this, I'm afraid of mice. And if you put me in a room filled with mice and they were crawling all over me, I can guarantee you, I would not come out of that room liking mice any more than I did before. I would be even worse off. So these ideas of how to desensitize horses, some of them are a little traumatic. 
And so I would suggest that you let him realize that this thing is not gonna hurt him. We don't attack him with it. And actually horses can tell our energy really well. And so we never direct the energy towards him. I'm actually directing my energy towards making Fiona move around and dance for him. And so then he becomes a lot more comfortable with the situation and realizes that he is safe. He hasn't had to back up. And so your horses might be a lot more scared than this and have to stay further away and that's okay. But if you don't pressure the horse into liking something and make it fun and they can do it on their own time and realize that they're just gonna follow you. So we'll try this again. Then you're gonna be better off for it. And it doesn't matter if it's a stuffed animal or a flag or a tarp or anything. And guaranteed eventually they're gonna wanna touch it and uh, and if not, well, you try it again the next day. And it's all about staying. The person on the horse should stay really relaxed. And so he doesn't quite feel comfortable with her jumping around so much. I don't want him to get past her though. So he's not quite, so there's different levels. So there's definitely fearful. Then there's tolerating which is what he's doing right now. He's tolerating Fiona jumping around, but he's not really okay with it yet. Then there's accepting, which is a great stage to be at. And then they become curious about it. And then there's all the fear is gone. And Prince was definitely in the accepting stage from what I can tell, or maybe he's just beyond curious and really just doesn't care. So, and when he licks his lips, that's great. We're gonna do another little short video to talk about that but that tells us that he's releasing his stress, which is excellent. So go ahead, try this at home. Do not attack your horse with it. Do not walk slowly up to the horse because then you're getting into their space and that's exactly how tigers move and bears that are wanting to attack something. So that's not how you wanna approach your horse with something they're scared of. Good luck. If